Now I'm going to show you how to install the PIR motion sensor. Before we start, we'll need a pencil, hammer, stool, ladder, and Phillips head screwdriver or drill. Now I'm going to show you how to install the PIR motion sensor. PIR stands for passive infrared, which detects infrared energy. When a person passes by a motion sensor, it will trigger the sensor from detecting a change in temperature from the heat of your body. This is why the placement of the motion sensor is so important. So before I show you how to install it, here are six very important placement tips to help you get the best possible use out of your motion sensor. Number one, place your motion sensor approximately seven to eight feet high on the wall to get the best possible coverage. But avoid placing over large pieces of furniture, such as a high bookshelf, which will limit its range. Number two, Keep the motion sensor approximately 10 to 15 feet away from heat sources such as radiators, heating vents, and direct sunlight from sunny windows. Number three, corners are the most ideal locations because you can position them to cover the most area. Number four, mount the motion sensor so it's facing towards the entrance. This ensures that there's no way for a person to hide in any blind spots, which can happen if installed the opposite way, as you can see from this image. This is especially important if you only have one motion sensor. Number five, point the motion sensor towards choke points. A choke point is an area which a person must pass through to get to any place in your home, such as doorways, stairwells, or a hallway. For example, if an intruder breaks into this home, they must pass through the hallway to get to every important area of the home, including the stairwell to get to the second floor. Number six, avoid mounting the motion sensor where it's facing moving objects such as ceiling fans or a curtain that may blow in the wind from an open window as this can trigger the motion sensor. Number seven, if you have any pets, you most likely do not have to worry about a small dog from triggering the motion sensor. However, large pets will. So for medium dogs, we recommend moving the angle of your motion sensor upwards or straight as you see in this photo. For larger pets, we recommend turning the motion sensor upside down. This should most likely fix your issue. Once you've repositioned the motion sensor, arm the alarm system and call your pet from across the room where the motion sensor is installed. Keep doing this test and repositioning the motion sensor until you found the sweet spot. Move cat trees and other types of objects that make it easier for your cat to climb into the motion sensor range of view. Now that you know the best placement for your motion sensor, I'm now going to show you how to quickly install it. First, take the surface mount and slide it upwards into the slot on the back of the motion sensor. Next, place the surface mount flat on the wall where you want to install it. Then, while holding the mount firmly against the wall, pull the motion sensor in an upwards position so that it comes off completely. Mark the two screw holes with a pencil and remove the mount. Next, drill two pilot holes using a drill bit that's slightly smaller in diameter than the included wall anchors. Place the wall anchors in the pilot holes and hammer them in until they're flush with the wall. Then using a Phillips head drill bit or Phillips head screwdriver, screw the mount into those anchors. And lastly, slide the motion sensor over the surface mount in a downwards position until it locks in place. You now know how to install the motion sensor. Well, we hope this video helped you out. All of the products you see here are available on Amazon.com and Amazon.ca. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave your question below and we'll be sure to answer it as soon as possible. My name is Brandon Paris and thank you for watching.